<coughs> hey guys so far we have looked at what uniform and non-uniform motion is today we are going to look at a few activities to try to understand what it does look like what is uniform and what is non-uniform okay so for these uh, there will be about three to four activities for this i'm going to need this. so this is just uh, an inclined plane okay so this would be a flat surface this is a slope inclined plane i'm going to need an object like this ball and we have this old setup that we used a string and a syringe i'll walk you through every single activity through every activity what we are going to do we are going to look at the object that is moving and how it is moving that is our main uh, focus so for the first one i'm going to use this ball and this inclined plane i'm going to show you two different scenarios okay one is when the ball goes down and one is when the ball goes up so i want you to observe the movement of the ball carefully or how fast it is going okay here i'm going to leave it okay just to show it clearly i'll do it one more time okay all right so now i noticed that uh, the moment i left it from here it went all the way down okay now I'm going to do the reverse. I'm going to not leave it here. I'm going to push it up towards the slope and I'll stop it here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try to get it all the way through. Okay. One more. Okay. Now both these scenarios are exact opposites of each other. Right. I am going to now look at what happened to the speed of this object right how fast or how slow it was going in the first case i saw that it was slow in the beginning but as it goes it's going to pick up more speed right its speed is increasing right so i can say that when an object is going down a slope its speed is increasing but its direction is still the same it is still going in a straight line it's a slant line but it's a still a straight line For a ball that's moving up, the speed is going to reduce, right? By the time it reaches the top, it has become slow, see? So, I can say that whenever the object is moving up on a plane, its speed is reducing. But its direction is pretty much the same, right? It still goes in a straight line. So, this is one scenario where the speed is changing but the direction of the movement of the object is not changing. Right. Now, I'm going to take the scenario of this uh, syringe, okay, which is tied to a string. We have done this activity before. I am going to spin this string around. Okay, say hi to Kitty. She's here. She wants to be part of the activity. Right? Hello. Okay, wait. So I am going to spin this uh, syringe in a circular motion. Right? I am trying to spin it around in the same speed. Okay, so it's not going faster or slower. It is at the same speed. But over here, what do you think is the direction of this object? The direction of movement. If you see, it's taking a circular path. It's not a straight path. So at every moment, I can say that its direction is changing. Sometimes it's going like this, then like this, then like this, like this, right? So for an object that is moving in a circular way, we can say that the speed right now is the same, but its direction is changing. Okay, in the first case, speed changed, direction did not change. But over here, direction is changing, speed is not changing. Right?
now finally for the last case i am going to show you this activity of a ball or an object that is thrown up in the air okay since the camera angle is low i am going to try to put it from here okay observe this ball as it moves through the air to my other hand okay right that way or like this okay now we'll again try to observe its speed and direction okay as the ball goes up it becomes slower up until a point where it stops and then it starts to fall and again it gets faster so you will see that in this speed has changed initially it decreased then it increased right even the direction was changing so every moment it is going in a different path right it is going along a different direction in a curved path so in this case i can tell that both my speed and my direction are changing now whenever any one of these quantities changes either the speed or the direction we'll say that the velocity of the object has changed okay we'll say that the velocity changes whether the speed changes or the direction changes in this case we say that the body is in non uniform motion 